Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav and I welcome you. In this video, I am sharing my learnings from Middle Discourses 52. Uh, the title of the discourse is Man from the City of Athakka and it's also called Athakka Nagara Sutta. Right? Uh, so, uh, the, I'm just sharing my main learnings from this discourse and uh, the link to the entire discourse is given in the description. You can read the entire discourse at your end also. Uh, so, basically the context here is that there was a householder Dasama uh, from the city of Athakka, who arrived uh, in Patliputra for some business and he came to know that Venerable Ananda was staying uh, in near Vesali in a little village of Beluva. So he concluded his business in that city and came to uh, meet uh, Venerable Ananda and he asked Ananda, Honorable Ananda, when Ananda was one of the uh, chief disciples of the Buddha, right? So he asked Ananda that Honorable Ananda, is there one thing that has been rightly explained by the Blessed One who knows and sees the Perfect One, the Fully Awakened Buddha, practicing which a diligent, keen and resolute mendicant's mind is freed, their defilements are ended and they arrive at the Supreme Sanctuary from the Yoke. So basically what Ananda was interested in, was, was uh, the Sama was interested in that one thing. So so he did not, he was not interested in a long kind of... Uh, uh, teachings or something. He just wanted to know that one thing which is someone practices, he gets freedom, right? So, Ananda uh, said, yes, there is. And so, the Dasama said, okay, what is that one thing? So, now, he Ananda did not answer with, with that one word or something. He answered this as a, a bit in detail, which I'm just taking out some portions and sharing. So, basically, here, Ananda shares the four reps options, right? So, in the entire suttas, I see a com continuous reference by the Buddha and by his students of the four absorptions, the first, second, third and fourth absorption. And after the fourth absorption, the person gets the three realizations, the three knowledges and he is freed, right? So, I am myself doing my own research on the four absorptions, how they link up with Vipassana and everything. But here, for the purpose of this sutta, let's understand what Ananda said, Venerable Ananda said, he said, Householder, it's when a mendicant, quite secluded from sense pleasures, secluded from unskillful qualities, enters and remains in the first absorption, which has the rapture and bliss born of seclusion by placing mind and keeping it connected. Then they reflect, even this first absorption is produced by choices and they understand, but whatever is produced by choices is impermanent and liable to secession. So, Abiding in that, they attain the ending of defilements. If they don't attain ending of defilements, with the ending of the five lower fetters, they are reborn spontaneously because of their passion and love for that meditation. They are extinguished there and are not liable to return from that world. So even in the first meditation, if uh, five lower fetters, so there are I think 10 fetters in all, but five lower fetters that get clear, then they will never ever return to the world. They will be extinguished. From this world, extinguished in the sense that when they die, they will never return, right? In this world, they will become a non-returner. There are four stages in uh, Buddhist practice of awakening. Sotapanna, strip entry, once returner, non-returner and totally arhant, enlightened. So, he becomes an enlightened. So, furthermore, as placing of the mind and keeping it... Con so, still if the person connect places, places the mind and keeping it con connected and stilled, they enter and remain in the second absorption, then the third absorption, then the fourth absorption. Furthermore, the mendicant spreads their heart full of love to one direction, two direction, three direction, four direction, all directions. So, here are the references of the loving kindness, Brahma Vihara, loving kindness meditation. Then they, re they reflect, even their heart's release of love is also produced by choices and intentions. That is also impermanent, right? So further, they keep meditating, spreading a heart of love, compassion. Then, mendicant going totally beyond perceptions of form, with the ending of perceptions of impigment, not focusing on perceptions of diversity, aware that space is infinite, enters and remains in the dimension of infinite space. Then even he continues from there, he goes beyond the dimension of infinite space, aware that the consciousness, consciousness is infinite, enters and remains in the dimension of infinite consciousness. Then he continues, 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 aware nothing, there is nothing at all, enters and remains in the dimension of nothing, nothingness. Then they continue, 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 
and they attain the ending of defilements if at all they don't attain the ending of defilements they end by the by the time at this time they end the low five lower fetters they 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 are not they are extinguished and they will not be liable to be reborn in the world right so 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 this is how actually uh, venerable ananda explained him this journey about from the first absorption to reaching the fourth absorption and ending the complete ending of the defilements so when he said this householder dasama said to venerable ananda that honorable ananda suppose a person was looking for an entrance to a hidden treasure so he was like giving the analogy of a treasure that uh, and all at once they come across 11 entrances in the same way i was searching for the door to the deathless and all at once i got to hear of 11 doors to the deathless suppose a person has a house with 11 doors if the house caught fire they'll be able to flee to safety through any one of the doors in the same way i am able to flee to safety through any one of these 11 doors to the deathless so those of other religions seek a fee for the teacher why shouldn't i make an offering to the venerable ananda so he basically said that okay allow me to make an offering to you you have shown me the way it's like my house is burning i don't know a way out you have shown me 11 doors where i can escape and this is basically so escape is basically the the burning house is the analogy for samsara the suffering the the samsara that is filled with suffering and escape is nirvan so so basically ananda had give, shown him the path and so he said that okay please allow me to pay something right because other religions they ask for a fee you have not even asked allow me to pay so uh, then householder dasama served and satisfied the sangha with his own hands with delicious food, fresh and cooked foods he clothed each and every mendicant in a pair of garments with a set of three robes for ananda and he had a dwelling worth 500 built for ananda so this was his small contribution to the sangha small uh, donation to the sangha and this is basically the middle discourses 52 uh, uh, where ananda shows the sama the door to the to the deathless i hope this video was uh, uh, of some help to share your insights and reflections in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaye